What's the deal, Pack Fam? It's your man Pack coming at you guys with a new video today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Are you guys having trouble with shooting with the pro stick, or you don't know what that shooting with the pro stick is, or you want to learn more about it, or you want to see how to just practice it and start shooting greens, greens, greens? You're in the right place. I got you guys. So a lot of people are really confused. I think the developers are making it seem a lot more difficult than what it really is to shoot with the pro stick um so i'm gonna go over a couple things so the pro stick is a new shooting system that they well i believe that they had it in previous 2ks but now there's a new meter and also you get a boost if you use it supposedly so we'll see as we go into 2k with that but to practice it best thing you can do is come over here to 2ku on the new 2k21 demo when you get to 2ku you're gonna hit the the touchpad here and you're gonna go over to passing I feel like it's best to try this, to practice the new shot style with Paul George, so that's what I've been doing. When you get into the passing mode, hit left on your D-pad to take that menu off, so that way you can see the whole screen. Uh, I've been practicing it with Paul George a lot. I feel like he's just the smoothest, you know, he has some good hot spots and stuff like that. So all you're going to do when you're, you know, when you're practicing this jump shot is you're trying to go down on your right stick, your right analog, as straight as possible. That's going to line up your shot perfectly. No, depending on where you are on the court, you don't have to face a certain way. You don't have to do anything special. It's always going to be straight down, as straight as you possibly can. Now, when you're using the, D, the, the pro stick, your meter doesn't show timing. You just have to know your jump shot timing. The meter is just to show you how straight, left or right, did you, did, was your jump shot. If you hold down and to the left, you're going to get a slightly left. If you hold or or a wide left, if you hold right, you're gonna get a wide right or slightly wide right, whatever they're calling it. But you want to try to hold it down straight as possible and time it. By timing it, you're gonna have to learn your jump shot, obviously. So I'm shooting with Paul George, um, and I like to go to his hot spot so I can get warmed up and then just practice it. Right there, I got a slightly right, which means I went a little bit right on my release on the right trigger. So to shoot greens, you're going to want to just practice this. I have shot quite a few greens with Paul George. Um, also, the dribbling with Paul George is pretty fun if you want to practice that as well. But um, just practice that. I just feel like, again, that they were making it a little more difficult than what it was. There we go. We got a green right there. But you just got to get that timing down. But I just, I wanted to kind of clear it up because I feel like the 2K de devs were like kind of making it a little more um, difficult to understand exactly what to do and how to like shoot consistent and shoot green. So if you have any questions, comment below. Um, I'll ha happily answer anything that I can. But um, yo, get ready for this because this can help you out in 2K21 being an elite player. With that being said, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.